Village. Welcome back to another HSN. Today is Friday, May 23rd, 2014. I'm Adam Jimenez and... The name's Wade. And you're watching HSN. today in the cafeteria starting from 2 to 4 p.m. to pay $2 at the door and so go and get your yearbook early. If you haven't already bought your yearbook, it's all good because you can purchase one in the ASB for 85 until they sell out. So if you have any questions, just go to Ms. Markham in L128 during first and second lunch. And the Heritage High Drama Department presents for their senior Mud Axe Ball Fox It's Almost Maine by John Crianney, which is directed by Greg Newman, which starts today and will be starting tomorrow on Saturday, May 24th, starting at 7 p.m. in room R147. Tickets are six for students and eight for adults, so come out and support. And now we go to our college spotlight, which is Arizona State University. That's really what makes Arizona State University unique is that in order to really get a good feel for the university, you'd have to talk to the people that live there, that play there, that study there, that thrive there. I mean, we do have four campuses across the state, and each one's unique and each one's beautiful in their own way, but overall, we're one university in many places. Just the experience through the football, through the professors, through the student body, there's just no other place like this. Wherever you go, you see pitchforks everywhere, and I loved it when I came here, and I just figured it was, it was meant to be my next home. We're moving so forward and being so progressive. You look around ASU right now, and there's buildings being sprung up, and you know things happen so quickly, and it's exciting to be part of it. Everybody who's here wants to do something amazing with their degree, and they all have so much ambition, and it's great to be around that because it brings you up, too. You come to ASU and you can really do anything you want and whatever you want based on what you know, you're know you passionate about and what you want to do. When you're a Sun Devil, anything's possible. It's like the best feeling ever, probably what I live for, because you come on stage and then the lights hit you and you can't see the audience at all, really. It's just you and you're doing what you love. It's almost surreal. You know, game day comes and it's a really cool feeling, all the adrenaline and all, the, all those fans, all those crazy rowdy students waiting for you and it'll never get old. You know, I, get, I still get butterflies to this day because this place really has become a part of me and I'll always be a Sun Devil. You know, that'll never change. Being a Sun Devil means pride, it means tradition. We're representing Arizona State by playing softball and going out and getting a national championship for our, for our university. Motivation for me comes from inspiration. It comes from the people that I've met. It comes from every single patient that I've come across. Every single one of them has touched me in some way and that has given me fire to go on and maybe I'm not going to help the entire world, but that doesn't mean I can't touch one person's life. Oh, it's unreal. And I, I kind of had a dream to use engineering to help people, but I never expected it to happen in my sophomore year of college. And that's all because of ASU here and all the innovation they have that allows the students to actually solve real world problems. Everybody strives to be the greatest here. There's a lot of opportunities to go forward to just be that better person. I gotta say it's a life changing experience. I think the one thing that unites all the campuses at ASU is that we're all just moving. We're moving forward. We learn about people here. We are one community. We are one student body. We have so much energy. We have so much passion. And I've loved every second of being a Sun Devil. Hey there, kids. If you love music, come out and support the band in their band concert next Thursday night at 7 p.m. And now here's a video to show you all about it.
space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. And now we'll go to Samantha and Nick for some sports beat. Hey guys, I'm Samantha Maya, and this is our guest speaker. Hello, Tori <laughs> And this is your HSN sports beat for the day. Congratulations to Julia Eden for making three home runs, to Lexi Blevins for, one, for adding one home run, and Jordan Sage for adding another. You guys are doing amazing, and good luck on your next run. So, Tori, how's trap? Like, what's up with that? Well, I just competed at CIF prelims last weekend. Mm -hmm. um, I will be attending CIF finals this weekend. Um, I qualify for 110 meter hurdles and 300 hurdles, and I'm going to the next route. So, since you're a junior, I understand, like, until you're a senior or get scouted, mm -hmm. but have you got any offers or anything? Not necessarily offers, but I have received emails and letters from college coaches. Which colleges? Um, my very first one was UCLA. Oh, wow. Um, I received a, a lot. I don't want to go through all that. That's awesome. Well, what's next? Like, what, what, what are you going to get out of track? Um, Possibly a scholarship, maybe. So, since you're, you know, like an eighth grader, did you always think like, oh, track is going to be my first thing, or how'd you, how'd you get better? How'd you know this was you? I never wanted to do track ever. Are you <laughs> never, serious? Never, ever, ever. I started my ninth grade year, oh. and that's how it just, I fell in love with it, and that's just what I did. Well, there you have it. An amazing Tori Hopkins, <laughs> track star, and everything. That's really cool. Thank you. This is your HSN Sports Beat. I'm Samantha Maya. And I'm Tori Atkins. And back to the studio. Just a reminder to all AVID students is that the AVID end of the year social will be on May 30th in the theater, so all AVID students come out and show the academic success you have achieved. And now we go to our career topic for this week, which is being a comedian. Boss it. not an easy childhood. I wasn't spoiled. Not like today, a lot of parents spoil their kids. My buddy, he brags about it. He says, yeah, I let my kid cruise around town in a $50,000 Lexus. I says, so what? I let my kid cruise around town in a $200,000 Metro bus. He sends his kids to karate and taekwondo. I drop my kids off in Koreatown. They'll learn to fight. Hey, hey. Not an easy childhood. But I survived it. Hey. I'm Larry Omaha, professional stand-up comedian. And I'm here to talk about how you can become a professional stand-up comedian. What is a comedian? A comedian is, a, is an individual, man or woman, who every night goes out into dark clubs and makes strangers laugh. Not an easy job. It takes a lot of years, a lot of determination, a lot of hunger to develop your material, to develop your persona, to, to develop the, the guts to get up on a stage in front of strangers every night. But I'm here to talk about that. Describe what a typical day is for a stand-up comedian. First of all, there is no typical day. Every morning I wake up wondering who's going to be calling me for what kind of job, where in the world. But if I don't get the call, then I'll make some calls. I'll call my booking agents, find out what they have going on that I could be used in. I, I spend a lot of time reading newspapers, watching the news, knowing what current events are, because I'm the type of comedian who likes to do comedy on current events. So I spend a lot of time writing, writing down um, ideas for jokes, working them, re-editing them, re-editing them, getting them prepared so that they're in concise form, so that that night, I can take those joke ideas and perform them in front of an audience to see if they work, <laughs> to see if they're funny. In a nutshell, that's what my typical day is like, if you want to call that typical. So next Monday is Memorial Day, which means there is no school. But we're going to tell you why there is no school. If any of you wonder 
what Memorial Day is or why it doesn't matter is because Memorial Day is a day which those who died in active military service were remembered. And it's traditionally reserved on May 30th, and that's why there is no school. So instead of just admiring sleeping in bed all day, giving a moment on that day to remember the men and women who have died for freedom for this country. So here's a little video tribute to show you all about it. And once again, remember those men and women who have died for this freedom of this country.